trumpet. When the Hebrews were in their fields and their vineyards, when they heard the sound of the trumpet, they knew the summer harvest was coming to its close. And so the harvest of this age, the gospel to all nations, which has not stopped or ceased from Jerusalem, is coming to its close. And it, as it began with the symbol and sign of a Hebrew holy day, Pentecost, it closes with a sign of a Hebrew holy day, trumpets. And so why were we called? We didn't understand it. And people all, all around the world are called to sound a trumpet in the nations. Not just in one place, but in the nations. Back then, it, the harvest began in Jerusalem and went to the world. But now the harvest must come from the nations and come back to Jerusalem. And so we are called to sound it in different nations of the earth. In India, when they invited us to come, they already linked the beginning of the age with this. They said, Thomas, a Jewish guy came at the beginning of this age. He brought us, he started the gospel here. We need a Jewish person to come and walk in his footsteps. In Cuba, by words of knowledge they had, there was a sense that there was something that was going to happen in Cuba that was going to spark something around the world, but it was the light. What's the link? This, is when it is first heard, is a sign to the harvest. That it sound, we sounded it, we, were, we didn't know why, we just said go to the, in the fields of harvest. 2,000 years ago, it went from Jerusalem to the fields of the world, and now it must come back. Not, it's not at key points in the nation. So the Lord called us to do that. Why? Because this is Elul, the beginning of that final ingathering that is spoken about in the Bible. Does that mean the harvesters are to stop harvesting? No. It's the opposite. If you were in your field and you heard the shofar, and you knew the days of the harvest were numbered, you didn't harvest less, you harvest more. You had, you, means you had only a certain amount of time to gather in. Now we don't know what that means, you know, a God, a day is like a thousand years, but it's a sign. You harvest more. For when did the Lord send us to sound it? You know, he actually, he's, where? He sent us to sound it in precisely those places where it had not been reaped. Not to those, to those places where the gospel had been oppressed and hindered, where false gospels had been there. So why? Because the harvest has to go to all the earth. Because Messiah said, the harvest must go to all nations, the gospel must go to all nations, and then the end comes. And so we were brought to sound this. It was also a sound of breaking the walls so the, the gospel can go forth to every nation. What's going to happen? It must go to every nation. Yes, things, you know, the culture gets worse, but the harvest is going to go to every nation that everyone would hear. They can choose to receive or reject. What awesome things God has done this year. And there's something I couldn't say about yet because it didn't come to fruition until the last minute, so we just had to just do it quickly. But we called it something big. It's been an awesome year. A year to sound the trumpet to the nations. Yesterday was the first day of the Feast of Trumpets, the, the actual thing. And something unprecedented happened. In the center of all nations of earth, the United Nations, which is the meeting point, op they opened their international grounds up for the sounding of the shofar. I mean, this year, there's something... Yesterday, by God's hand, an unprecedented thing, I, I, and I was called to sound the shofar in the United Nations, in the grounds of the United Nations, as believers were gathered to pray as they were praying. I, we didn't come up with this meeting. It happened with other believers from around America. They came to pray for God's move on the nations. And so they came bearing flags of every nation. And there on the grounds of the United Nations, every nation was lifted up in prayer. And I was asked to come in bearing the flag of Israel at the end, the last one before the final things. And then the event was turned over to me at the end to conclude, and I spoke about the Feast of Trumpets and the meaning of it. Again, this happened too quickly. We just had to do it, go in there. And, uh, but of the ingathering of the nations. And then I, I did what I did in the nations and what I'll do next week, and I'll begin here tonight at the end of the service, the Jubilee sounding. 
which the seven times, the first trumpet, which we'll do next week, for the unleashing of God's power throughout the earth. The second to break all darkness, all curses. The third in all nations to break every chain of bondage by the power of the gospel to the nations. The fourth to break down the walls of separation between peoples, nations by the mercy and the reconciliation of God. The fifth to loose the showers of God's blessings upon the nations. The sixth to pour upon God's people his spirit throughout the earth, the anointing to spread and to fulfill his calling. The seventh, the mystery of God, his will which is beyond what we know in the final ingathering of nations. And I pray that at the end, in the name above all names, Yeshua HaMashiach, Kavod Yisrael, Or HaOlam, the glory of Israel and the light of the world. Amen. Who could have arranged this? We didn't arrange it. We didn't arrange this year. Only God, it was fitting that, I thought after, He ordained that the year of beginning sounding the trumpet to the nations that of all days, on the holy day called the, the Day of Trumpets, the ancient shofar would be sounded of all places in the very center of all nations and all governments of the earth, the United Nations, and the Feast of Trumpets. And they allowed it. What does it mean? It means something big is happening. What does it mean for us? It means you must reap as you have not reaped. It is now, all the more the time to go out is now, to proclaim now, to share the word now, to throw in a seed now, your family, your friends, the cashier, now. All the more to sow, all the more to go out, all the more to set your eyes on God and His purposes and put the junk away, the compromise away. It is the beginning of a great thing here. We've been given for some strange reason, some special part in it. The mystery of those, of beginning the heart, Jew and Gentile, Israel and nations, and you as an end time believer must have a passion Conclusion, the shofar tells us these are the appointed days, the days of completion, the days of destiny, the days of repentance, the days of the return, the days of the closing of the summer harvest, the days of victory for God's people and strength and power given to those who go out, the days of awe, awesome days, and you've been called to, to, be, to be born in this day and to be saved in this day. You are appointed for the appointed days to rise to it. For when the trumpet sounded, his people rose. It says when the trumpet sounds, the dead will rise. So how much more we, we need to rise? If these are the days of the trumpet, these are the days of rising. How much more we must rise to the call. Rise to your call. Rise to praise. Rise to worship. Rise to the good fight. Rise to victory. Rise to prophecy. Rise to your appointed destiny. For you have been called to do great and mighty things things for you have been chosen to live and to rise to the call in the days of the end time shofar mystery days